Hey guys, this is Patience. Today is Saturday. Um, it's about, I don't know what time it is, but um, oh, or the date is about 7 a.m. in the morning, and I'm at Stone Mountain, and I'm getting ready to go for my little run. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but my hip was bothering me, so um, I've been taking a little time off, which is good, because I had time to grow and do things. Um, for myself besides fitness and learn things about myself so I look at it as a growing moment um, this week I have been focusing on um, just myself um, you know Valentine's Day was last week I had a good time I didn't really have an official Valentine but um, I had um, friends um, whom I care about and who care about me in my life so um my life is continually continuously evolving um i'm excited about it um i'm going on um what do you say um i'm going through it and um i'm excited about it this morning i woke up with a very positive attitude um um I went out with the old guy. We just went out on a date, which was good. Um, just like, to me, I like friends. He picked me up, brought me home, and said goodnight. It was good. So, um, I'm moving forward. I was like, that was weird. <laughs> but, you know, it set me up for different things. And you can appreciate those things. Um, just being dating, I was thinking, man, I have bad dates. But, no, I can appreciate just him being a total gentleman all the time um given what i've been um coming up with um with different times anyway so this week um i've been working on exceptionalism um everything i do i try to work it out with exceptionalism and integrity those are words that came to me in my spirit or um through things that I've been watching and it's been a great week um but things have been coming upon me to make me do things that are not within where I'm going but God keeps telling me to stay focused and work toward exceptionalism and that's the word that I've heard all week so what happened I know I was struggling with some areas in my life. Um, I said, Lord, I can't do this. Um, like candies, drinking. Actually, I'm so proud of myself because I went out to dinner last night and I did not order one drink. I didn't even have a drink before going. So I'm good. But what happened was he, he showed me last week that um, some of those things that I find that I was replacing things with, were still not things that would make me excel to exceptionalism. So if I wanted to be exceptional in my in my walk, my weight loss journey and my walk with Christ, then I had to practice some things, which means I had to purge my life of certain things. And I think I have. Um yes, I lost four pounds. <laughs> I did. Uh I weighed myself this morning, but um yeah, it was kind of hard, but my desire for the things are not as strong as they were. I woke up this morning very positive and very at peace of what I was doing, if that makes sense. So, that was what I learned this week was exceptionalism and integrity. And as long as you live your life um, with integrity, even when you're down in a valley, you're going to make the right decision. Um, even when you're struggling and you're weak. Um, yeah. And it's like, I learned that if you're in a covenant, then you have to work towards that. And, um, even though you can't see it, but if it's part of the covenant, it's all part of integrity. And fulfilling your covenant is having integrity. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that's what I learned this week from my journey. And um, I'm so excited 
because I've been just trying and every day when I do something before I reach my hand into that candy jar I said am I doing something exceptional today is this gonna make me go is this gonna make me exceptional is this exceptional behavior and no and if I say no then that means that's not on 